What's good, family? Shout out to my doggy, Louis Perkins, for boosting up your man the YB. Dire coin situation. So we got some breaking news right now regarding your man's team, Tyson, oh, Fury, and Daniel L. Trapperhan, Kinahan, and it's all the way bad. For certain generals. Right now. They're going all the way through it. That's what we do know. Now. Before I give the leaked news. What I will say is. In fact you know what scrap it. Let me give you man the quick leak. Here we go. The UAE has now frozen. The financial assets. Of the Kinahan. Narcotraficante gang. At the Irish crime syndicate. Accused is accused of using Dubai to launder money, has forged ties with top level boxers and promoters. The UAE has now frozen the assets of the Kinahan Narco Traficante gang, adding to international pressure on an organization that has deep ties with boxers and promoters at the highest levels of sport. The Gulf state said it was continuing to investigate the Irish organised crime group in parallel with authorities in the US, UK, Ireland and Spain. And I quote, The relevant authorities cooperate closely on cases involving foreign elements in line with the UAE's international commitments and national legal framework for combating illicit activity, the government said. The asset freeze includes all personal and corporate bank accounts, one person briefed, briefed on the matter in the UAE said. The announcement of the asset freeze on one of Europe's most notorious trap stars, trap syndicates, comes as the US Treasury last week imposed sanctions. So, what can I say, people? I hate to say, oh, YB always says he told you so. I did tell you so. I told you, don't trust the Sandy Dons, 100%. You can't trust the Sandy Dons. <laughs> They're no good. They're in the US pocket. And or, whatever way you look at it, yeah. The UAE cats, they all the way down with the State Department in the US. That's just a fact. They're all in bed together. And I warned El Trapper Hand. This is the problem you see. There's a whole bunch of low IQ Dons running around the place. I told everyone, listen. The only place to be truly safe is China, Russia, or the moon. And even the moon, I wouldn't trust them there. Trust me, China or Russia is the place to be. Simple as that. That's it. There is no... People think, oh, well, I don't really want to go to China. It's out of the way. I don't really want to go to Russia. It's out of the way. I want to be nice and comfortable. Well, you can, you best believe you're going to be comfortable 100 foot underground in ADX Florence in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I keep telling these dopey ass criminals. There ain't no way to be... You've, you've chosen a certain lifestyle. And it's almost like they want their cake and to eat it too. Rather than saying, you know what? I've got made a billion dollars. Let me sit my ass in a nice, nice cushy area. In, let me buy an island in China and just relax. Instead of doing that, they think, oh, well, I still want to be in the thick of it. I still want to be in the party land. I still want to be able to chill with Tyson. Do you know what I'm saying? The problem with Kinahan is he wanted to maintain that celebrity lifestyle. And that's what's ultimately going to end up getting him got yeah you can't have it it's not how it works especially it's all right fair enough yeah if they were continuing under the radar whatever but again even that doesn't work because it only works until it doesn't and this is what i was saying this don yeah should have got all of his ish and moved it to i think china's probably the better bet to be honest because russia's a bit leave it now china has more economic weight it's going to be very difficult to, to make moves against China, Russia, economically speaking. Although I guess they've got they've got oil exports or commodity exports, but for the main, listen, China produces everything in the world more or less, so it's much different. Yeah, Apple is based in China. Everyone more or less in terms of manufacturing is based in China, so they ain't doing nothing there in terms of what the West can do to so-called sanction or whatever. Your this cat here, he got that's it. He done now. All these goofies were telling me, no, YB, UAE doesn't have extradition. Are you joking? <laughs> yeah, the minute the US wants you, you're gone. 
I told you before there was, there was a cat called Hush Puppy. Some dopey ass Nigerian cat. He was in Dubai thinking he was a big dog. Guess what? Guess what? Guess where he is now? He's somewhere all down all the way bad. Yeah? Talking about how his mental health not right. You locked up. That's what that's what you is. <laughs> yeah? I think if I'm not sure if he's been sentenced yet, but Hush Puppy, yeah, he got past a quick twenty piece. Quick twenty piece as well. Told you before, the US government they'll hand out they hand out rugby numbers for fun. Quick twenty piece here, quick twenty piece there. That's what they will do. It's not worth it, in my opinion. Go and sit your ass down somewhere in China. Pay the right people and be nice and keep your, be happy you got your freedom. But again, these dons, they want it all. They want, oh, well, I don't want to be there. I want to be here. And yeah, oops. We'll see how it, it, it's all, it's all fun and games until the feds come. So if I was, if I was anywhere around El Trapahan now, I'll be straight on a plane to China. And I'll be, I'll be, you best believe I'd be. Everyone's pockets in China will be paid. You best believe it too. Any money you've got, obviously keep a couple mil. Obviously keep probably keep a hundred mil for yourself here. But right now, Kinahan should be focused on paying all the generals in China he can. That's what he should be doing. Because a lot of these dopey cats here, like Escobar or whoever, they think they spend all this time burying money. Meanwhile, you end up in jail anyway. So you might as well spend it all keeping yourself out of jail. Because you can't spend it anyway. Well, you definitely ain't spending it when you're in ADX Florence underground. Yeah? With week, with monthly phone calls. With monthly 20-minute phone calls. Do you understand? You ain't going to be spending nothing. No doubt about it. But that's the, the whole point... Or well, It's no mistake why these guys end up caught up. It's that almost... It's that arrogance. It's that flaunting of it. That's part of the, That's part of what goes with it for, mo for most of these public ones. They love it. They love it so. They, it's almost like they love it more than they love their freedom. It, it must do because it's, it's almost like, why was he so desperate to make a move into the public? Uh, that was a bad move as well. And that's why I tell you these guys ain't smart. What was the? Who was advising them? Yeah, Dan. Let's put your face all in the video. Let's get you all in the mix with AJ and Fury. Who's doing that? You made your money. Sit down somewhere and be quiet. It's weird. It really is odd. Super odd. I don't get the angle of it at all. Oh yeah, let's get you in the, in the thick of the boxing news. Because all you're doing at that point is taunting. And now you're sorry. Because now, you, you, listen, you, in my opinion, what well, we're going to find out, I said before, we'll find out how how good the Kinahan trap is. Because to be fair, I'm pretty sure some, I'm pretty sure they, the assets got frozen in Spain or Portugal and they ended up getting released. So, which implies that, well, the case apparently fell apart. So, that is obviously a massive W for the Kinahan trap. That implies there's some top trap stars. Because most, most of the time, once your shit gets seized, you ain't getting it back. So, so the ability to get it back shows, well, it's, it's, that's certainly what you call 1-0. Yeah? That's 1-0. Now, if they, obviously, if a few years from now, it turns out they end up getting it all back, then they'll be going, I've told you before, if it turns out a few years from now, yeah, they get all their assets back, and he ain't in jail, then it will be, categorically, El Trapaham will be known as the number one, historical number one trap star, because no one's ever done that, no one's ever been able to run it like that, publicly speaking. Of course, there'll be dons in the background who do their little ting and, be quiet but no one's publicly been able to taunt it all in the video yeah like diddy and then still maintain their freedom it's just never been done before and if you disagree give me an example everyone you either end up dead or you end up underground in adx florence with at best monthly phone calls for 20 minutes yeah <laughs> it's all the way bad for them dons in adx florence they call it being buried alive you best believe it too no doubt so yeah, this shows the net is certainly tightening. A lot of people, like I said, were telling me, oh no, no, Dubai hasn't got extradition. And oh no, it's, it's different over there. It's not different over there. If you're, like I said, there's two places. And Russia right now is off the list anyway. Who wants to go there? <laughs> yeah, no one wants to go there now. So it's China, bottom line. That's it. And if you don't like that, I suggest, I mean, Kinahan could have, he could have been living his same lifestyle he was living it's only really the last five years where it really turned up and that's when he started trying to get all in the video publicly 
He could have sat down, kept his ass out of boxing, gone some other non-public way. He wanted to be all in the video, didn't he? Bottom line. I'm hearing he's, he's doing podcasts now. Just dopey ass dudes, man. Super, super dopey. Putting, putting out documentaries. All kind of madness. Super weird. Super odd. Unless, like I said, unless it turns out he ends up getting away with it all which obviously at that point you could say well fair play to the guy clearly he knew his trap was the most prestigious trap yeah he was running a, you know I mean he was running a trap on another dimension even the feds can't get him then that, oh listen I'll say fair play to the guy if that's the case but in terms of the odds the odds are he gonna be buried underground in, in ADX Florence that's what I'm t listen, I'm taking all bets right now any dons out there with any who want to make some or who want to bet against or, or any any dons out there you want to bet your man the YB taking all bets. I'm going to bet he in ADX Florence buried underground within five years. How about that? Oops. 100%.